Hi there guys, it's Anthony here from Cutting Edge Guitar and in today's video I'm going to be talking to you about Sir Guitars and if they're any good or not. Let's get right into it. Okay guys, this question has come from one of my subscribers over at Cutting Edge Guitar. If you want to help support my channel and ask me questions that I can come and answer for you here in the YouTube channel, consider supporting me at Cutting Edge Guitar. The links are all in the description. I have an excellent product out at the moment as well, the Cutting Edge Guitar Masterclass. It's a free course. I really strongly recommend that you get involved with that because it's chock full of information that will help you get better at guitar. Also as well, you can support me by uh, book purchases, um, other online courses and all sorts of other stuff, all links in the description. So, are Sir Guitars any good? Well, most people who watch my content know that I am an avid fan of Ibanez. I don't have to have any loyalty to any one guitar brand um, because obviously I'm not endorsed by anybody or any of that stuff, so I can play whatever I want to play. Um, but outside of my Ibanez guitars, I mean, you can see totally on, on the wall behind me, there's a, a Fender Stratocaster sitting up there. Um, that thing that's sitting over there is a Hofner President. Um, not that I ever really play that guitar, but I own, I just own loads of different guitars. Um, there's a story behind that one, which I'll probably get into a, another point for you. But anyway, the point is, a lot of people who um, watch my content, whether it's on the YouTube stuff or all of the things that I do in the Cutting Edge Guitar platform, they're quite often seeing my Ibanez guitars, because I play them all the time, and then there'll be big modules where I play this thing. Now, not many people know the brand Sir as well as they will know Ibanez. Ibanez is a huge, huge brand. Sir is not so well known. So I get asked, why am I playing it and is that guitar any good? Um, so this is a really high-end boutique instrument, okay? I have previously done a video about this and it's called, Is This The Best Electric Guitar? I've put a link to that in the description as well if you wanna see more about it. So when I do that video, I go through all of the sounds and I play it on clean, I play it on distortion and talk to you all about it and all that stuff. I'm just gonna sort of answer the question of here of is it any good and why I like it. So, um, why did I go for this? Well, I was actually looking for a really high-end boutique instrument. So my Ibanez guitars, I always play like Prestige Level or whatever, and I play high-end Ibanezes. Um, but one thing that I found was a bit difficult with them back in a certain time of my guitar playing is that there's a lot of snobbery around certain brands. So for example, if you rock up to a blues jam especially in the local area that I'm from, Northampton, UK, in the Midlands of the UK. If you turn up to a blues jam with an Ibanez RG, you get sneered at, you might even get sort of booed or like people like don't want you around. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous that people are like that about instruments, but you know, that's, that's how it is. Um, so I wanted a guitar that I could take to a blues jam or I could take to a jazz gig but I could still play all of the high-octane virtuoso stuff that I wanted to play as well. And I thought at the time that a PRS was the right guitar, so I wanted something that had a pretty maple top like this and all that stuff. So um, the thing is, I played a PRS, and to me, it had that sort of Gibson-y feel that, if I'm completely honest, I don't like. I don't like Gibsons at all and PRS felt very very similar to that to me. Now here's the thing, I've just said I don't like Gibsons at all. I have a quite a, a loyal, a small but a loyal following now on YouTube and with Cutting Edge Guitar and all that sort of stuff. This does not mean, because I've said that, this does not mean you have to go and set fire to your Gibson Les Paul and get rid of it in the garden. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is I don't like them, okay? So it's with guitars, it's each to their own. So whatever works for you is, is great. Now, the thing is, when I played the PRSs, as I said, they didn't feel like the kind of guitar that I wanted to feel. But when I picked this up, this felt a lot closer to being at home, which felt like being on one of my Ibanez guitars. Now, 
the thing that's really, really good about this, it's got uh, a very nice uh, body shape. The body shape is, well, super stratty. Um, so it fits fits my body like a glove. If I'm completely honest, it's compared to something like my S series, it's a very thick, thick guitar. So it's, there's a bit more tree here than what I would be used to. And my S series is super thin, awesome bit of kit. But uh, yeah, there's this is a comfortable body. You've got nice um, upper fret access. If uh, I put that right in front of the camera there, you'll probably be able to see that there's a, a scoop um, in here and uh, in here for you to get your upper fret access. Um, it's gorgeous. It's got a lovely flame maple top, which was just something I wanted because all of my other guitars are fairly or at the time they were fairly basic looking. Um, and something for me that's really important with guitars is the neck. So the, the neck has to be quite thin for me. And this, the neck profile on this Sir Pro series is, I say, uh, it's kind of like if someone took a Strat and an Ibanez Wizard and did this. Um, in terms of the dimensions and all that sort of stuff, that's probably not exactly true, but that's how it feels in my hands. You've got enough strattiness that it feels uh, good for like, the chordy stuff. Which is really, really nice. Uh, I love all of that. But also as well, when you're playing the lead guitar, like doing faster things and all that stuff, it's really good for that as well. So you sort of you can just fly around this instrument. It's great. Um, something else that I loved about it, it's got five-way super switch and two humbuckers. So there's nothing to get in the way of the picking technique. But with the five-way super switch, I've got coil splits and everything. So I'll get a, a varying range of tones, which is awesome. Um, so obviously that's in the other video where I go through everything about this guitar. So I strongly recommend that you watch that if you want to see more about this particular thing. But I suppose to really answer the question, are Sir guitars good? And I suppose that's a question based on what is the build quality like? Well, the build quality of this is absolutely amazing. Um, this guitar is now 10 years old, something like that. Um, like most guitars, you know, they start to get better with age, the more you play them in and they become your instrument, etc. Um, it is a fantastic instrument, really, really well built. But one of the things I'll say about this, I have in my life, uh, I have an excellent luthier, an absolutely top drawer, probably one of the best in the UK, lives in my local area. He works on all my guitars and that stuff. And... Uh, Rob's worked on this and for a mass-produced guitar, because although this is boutique and nice, this is mass-produced, it's CNC machine, all that sort of stuff, um, he says that this is very, very well built, but still overpriced. And the fact of the matter is you could get something like this built for you uh, at much, much cheaper much much cheaper than what you're going to pay retail i think these guitars in the uk right now they look like more than three grand some of them they might be on for like three and a half grand that's a lot of money um it's a lot of money and i didn't pay that when i bought this i bought this it was about two thousand one hundred uh but that was like i said that was 10 years ago it's a long time ago now um so the the honest the honest approach the honesty because i think that's really important with this stuff are these guitars worth that price and all that sort of stuff? Oh, if I'm completely honest, I don't know. It depends on who you talk to. And it depends on if you want to be able to spec up a guitar and go and take it to somebody and say, like, can you build me this and you want to save money, you will be able to get a super high-end guitar built for you that's going to save you dollar. Um, but also as well, if you are just the sort of person who wants to walk into a shop and go, do you know what, I want one of these, um, you know, you are getting an amazing guitar for that money. What I would say, um, I don't know, this is probably going to upset the guitar shops or even the guitar brands as I'm talking about these, but then, well, I'm not endorsed by anybody, so it doesn't matter. Um, the I, If I was getting one of these, I would do what I actually did when I bought this guitar. I didn't go and buy one off the shelf. I had one ordered in, so made, shipped out, and then straight to me. Because I think that guitars that are sitting on the wall for ages in shops, they just 
don't play that great. If you go in and play one off the wall, you're probably going to want to go and get it set up and all that stuff. And like in in guitar shops, they hang these guitars up like, um, you know, on the uh, guitar hooks. So they're hanging up like this, and it's not actually that good for the necks and all that stuff. So uh, I would um, I would definitely order one in and get it brand spanking new one that you know that's not been in the showroom that loads of other people have had a go on it and all that stuff that's just me maybe i'm a bit snobby i don't know but i'd want it one thing like when this arrived it did play awesome right out of the box which was which was cool but in the 10 years that i've had it it's had the neck set a few times uh i've had the frets dressed although they're stainless steel i have had the frets dressed um i've had different pots put in this as well because the pots although cts really good quality and all that they did wear out i was doing a lot of gigging with it back in the day i was using the pots all the time you know that they are perishable those things so but there we go um the short answer yes sir guitars are very very good and here's my best advice about all guitars to any student out there is um before you go and buy one don't just watch a load of reviews and see if something's got a bunch of five stars and all that stuff. Go and actually play them. That's the only way that you're ever going to know if something is for you, is for you to go and play them. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. If you want to support the channel, consider becoming a member over at Cutting Edge Guitar. Um, if you want to help me out with book purchases and things like that, you're not just going to be helping me out. Obviously, that will support the channel, but it will help you out massively. My High Intensity Guitar Technique Complete series is massive. It's one of the most comprehensive books on the subject of guitar technique ever written. I think, at least, uh, that's why I wrote it, because I thought there's a lot of books out there that have too many holes in them. So I wanted to get a lot of stuff in there for you. Uh, at Cutting Edge Guitar, I have courses, memberships, downloadable lessons. All of the books can be done as uh, PDFs and all the rest of it as well there. So check all of that out. Links are all in the description. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another video. Take care.